Kilo, it's time to water the plants. You can do it this time. Dad, I do not want to water the plants. It is a boring job. I do not give a crap if it's a boring job. You have to water the plants today, and that is final. And I'm tired of watering the plants. I gotta do it anyways. Oh my freaking god. There is no water pot. What am I gonna do now? I know. I will piss on the plants. I mean, what's the difference anyway? It's liquid. Ha 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 ha. Okay, there's the plants. Now I'm ready to start getting ready to take a piss. Psst. Ah, yeah. Da! Okay, Kalo. Did you water the plants? What the? Kalo, did you pee on the plants? What's the big deal, Dad? I mean, it was, it's just liquid. What's the big deal about it? There's no difference to it. Oh, there's a huge difference between your piss and water. Your piss smells like if a pig and a dumpster made love to each other, and trust me, that smells disgusting. Kalo, how dare you piss on the plants, that's it. You are grounded for 30,000 years, go to your room right now. <laughs> Kilo, I know this is early in November, but Santa is at the mall, and Sausage has never seen Santa before, so you have to come with us. Dad, I do not want to go see Santa Claus at the mall. I want to watch Dora the Explorer on TV. Well, that little Mexican girl can wait. It's all a part of the Christmas spirit. So come on right now, or you're grounded. Yo, Santa. What's good, Mahami? Why, hello, green heavy freak. Are you the owner of these two children? Man, I'm tired of seeing that red and white clown every time we go to that mall every Christmas. I don't even know what to do. I know. I'll make Santa Claus wear a bikini so he'll look like a girl. Ha 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 do you want a toy truck or something for Christmas? Why is everyone staring at me? Hey Santa, I got you a nice Christmas present. Close your eyes. <laughs> there Santa, now you're wearing a bikini. Now you'll look like a girl for the rest of your life. <laughs> I think it's funny. Uh, oh crap, he looks mad. Yes. Obviously I'm freaking mad. You naughty little boy. Why the hell would you do that to me? You're going on the naughty list for sure. You bald piece of my butt cheek. What's going on here? Why does Santa look like Kim Kardashian? But God hit my a couple of cars, and done a couple of drugs. Don't start with me, woman. Your jackass of a child decided it was the most genius idea in the frickin' world to put a bikini on me. Your son is insanely done. Get him tested. Mom, Dad, I am sorry I made Santa wear a bikini and got myself put on a naughty list. I just don't like seeing Santa every time we go to that mall every year on Christmas. Kid, maybe don't come to the freaking mall anymore. Have you ever considered staying home, or maybe ever considered going to another store here? No, cause your brain is so small. Well, maybe if Kalo doesn't carry bikinis in his freaking pocket, we all wouldn't be in this mess. Come on Kalo, I'm driving you home. Doris you stay here with sausage.
Ha 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 ha. Sausage loves bikinis. Sausage, get off Santa. That bikini isn't mean for infants like you to touch. Kilo, how dare you put a bikini on Santa Claus? He is a really fat man. He is not comfortable wearing those types of clothing as a guy. Guys don't wear that stuff. That's it. You are grounded for 30,000 years. Go to your room right now. Wow! 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 Ha 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 ha. Caillou got grounded again. Shut up, Rosie! No one gives a crap about you! Good morning, class. Today is Miss. Martin is the greatest teacher in the world day. This is the day where everyone bows down to my lovely gingerness. Yeah! This is my worst day ever! You make me quit watching Dora the Explorer on TV, and you drive me 1,500,000 miles from home because I have school today! Why don't you just leave me alone? Calm the hell down, Kalo. You seriously have mental problems, like I could literally call the freaking doctor on the goddamn phone to report you to a mental institution. Yeah, seriously, Kalo. You need to chill the hell out. You have gone way too insane for this class. Man, here I am again in boring school. Uh, my dad's got to understand, I hate school. Ooh, ooh. Wow. Look at her. She's pretty. I know who she is. Her name is Mary. She has nice blonde Black hair, hair and black nice eyes. Blue eyes. Oh, man. I'm glad she can't hear me because I'm reading my thoughts. <laughs> Easy as cake. <laughs> Well, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and ask her out. Hey, Mary. Um, 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 I just want to say that you're pretty. <laughs> um, I just want to know, um, if, um, me and you can go out as boyfriend and girlfriend. I mean, I mean, if you don't want to, I completely understand. Kalo, what the hell are you doing out of your seat? Yes. I understand. You will? Oh man, that is awesome. We will be a great couple together. Well, looks like it's time for class. <laughs> well, I will call you later. Yes! She said yes! Woohoo! I'm gonna damage the school! Down, 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 boom! Down, 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 What in the actual hell? You destroyed my classroom. The bookshelf is knocked over. But the back desk is also knocked over. I'm just gonna call the principal on you. Hello, principal. So, Kalo suddenly got a girlfriend from out of nowhere, and he literally destroyed my classroom. He's just a bald-headed creature that needs to be stopped. Okay, I will send Kalo down there right now. Thanks, bye. Go down to the principal's office right now. You little bald-headed freak. Ah! Got you! Why'd you destroy my school, you fucking- Dude! That's it! I'm calling your parents! Bitch! Hello, Kalu's parents. So Kalu suddenly got a girlfriend today and decided to destroy my school with his crazed excitement. Can you please pick him up? Thanks, bye. Kilo, let's go home right now. Yeah, about that mom and dad.
No! I am not grounded! I am not going to my room right now! Kalo, how dare you suddenly get a girlfriend and destroying the classroom with your excitement and talking back to us. That's it, you are grounded for 50,000 years. Go to your room right now. Good morning class, okay where the hell is Leo? My ginger god is not here. I am going to have a mental breakdown soon, but I must hold through for now. Oh yeah Miss Martin, that's great. We have three new students. So what? Who were the three new students, Mrs. Know-it-all? Yes, Kalo you dumbass, there are two new students, but the third one is your so-called girlfriend. Oh my god, it's Ginger King, Andre. You're back. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Hello, Miss Martin. It's good to be back here, I guess. I haven't been in this dump hole of a school in like a year. Like how the actual hell is it going? Yeah, pretty good. I have to sometimes deal with Kalo's behavior, and that's about it. Remember the huge roast you guys had? That was so amazing. You clearly won that, Andre. Oh, and would you look at that? Kalu, the bald-headed freak, he does not look like he changed a bit. Oh, man! Me and him used to have been friends! His name is the Weed Man. He is my idol. So, Mr. Weed Man, how you doing now? Tell me that question. Whoa, dude. Don't do that. Weed man? What kind of person goes around being called the weed man? That's so ridiculous. Oh, yes! The second student, one red bed. Oh, man. You, one red bed, you make some such great Go Animate videos. You should do these a long time until you're at the age of. well, whatever. Thanks. Oh, no, not you again. Uh, students, do not go near this kid. I know who he is. His name is Andre, the no good ginger. Last time he was here, he goes like this. Hello, students. I am your king. You must all bow down to me. Well, here's an idea. Maybe he should go to a land of... Whatever, and just go be whatever. Go away. No one likes you. Oh, really? Kalu, we're really starting this crap up again. I can't believe it. I thought I came back here for a good well-rounded education by our lovely friend Miss Martin. Doing great, Caillou. <coughs> just go on with the flow. Guys, stop bullying Andre. He is staying here for as long as he likes. So, stop bullying my ginger king. His hair is so gingery, I would actually take a gingery bath in it. Oh yeah, Miss Martin. Since you just said Andre's gonna stay here whatever he wants, here's your present. <coughs> That's your burp. Enjoy it. Oh my god. Kalo, you demented bald white ass but cheek pig. Why the hell did you burp on me, you dumb little bald ass yellow shirt wearing banana looking ass? Hey, you Mr. Clean's ass cheek, stop roasting my dear good friend Miss Martin Wright Freaky now. What did you say, Andre? What? What? Look it, you soft-served ice cream dipped in diarrhea. I don't want your crap infecting our school. Miss Martin is cringing right now, you ignorant pile of horse crap. Whoa. Andre, want some weed, bro? Yeah, no freaking thanks. I don't blaze it on a regular basis anyways. That stuff's 
Snoot Dogg's Pee. Okay, that's cool, Andre. I'll just go with smoke by myself. Why the hell did you take me into the bathrooms, Kalu? What's this all about? I'm gonna beat you up, Andre. That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, beat you up. There. Now, oh, here's the second thing. Oh, why the hell did you do. punch and kick me, Kalu? What the hell are you going to do now? Now, here's the second thing I'm going to do. I'm going to flush you down the toilet. Goodbye. Ha 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 Hello, Kalu's parents. So, Kalu flushed Andre down the toilet for no reason at all. Can you please pick him up? Thanks, bye. Kalu, let's go home right now. Yes, Mom and Dad, I flushed it Andre down the toilet. And I'm glad he is gone, because I never want to see him again. That little ginger got what he deserves. Instead of being the king of school, he is now the king of sewers. Which, in which, I hope he loves it there. Well, Kalo. That's rude as hell. Kalo, how dare you flush Andre down the toilet. That's it, you are grounded for 15,000 years. Go to your room right now. a nice burp I ever did. <laughs> oh no! Here comes dad and he's mad. He must have heard me burp without saying excuse me. Kalo, I just heard you do an obnoxious burp without saying excuse me. That is terrible manners. You need to learn your manners. And besides, we're going on a Thanksgiving picnic with Mary and her brother Jimmy and her parents today. Yay! We get to go on a picnic with Mary and her parents on Thanksgiving. Yay! Oh no! Dad, how are we going to celebrate Thanksgiving with Mary and her parents if it's raining? Well, it's not raining. Apparently, in today's weather forecast, it is supposed to rain later. Hey Dad, can you meet me in the bathroom for a minute? Okay. So, why am I in here again? Hey, Dad, um, I dropped a dollar in the toilet. Can you please get it for me? Uh, keep looking down. Keep looking down. You're getting closer. Goodbye, boys. I hope you have a good day. Meet Andre and tell him to say hi for me. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> now he is not going to bother me while I'm on my date with Mary and I'm going to try to impress her parents. Oh yeah, it'll probably take a few hours before he gets back. <laughs> Mom, Dad said he won't make it to Thanksgiving because he has to go to work today. Oh my God. I can't believe that is to happen to poor Boris. 
He is going to miss the Thanksgiving feast. Okay, I think someone's at the door. Why? Hello? Mary and Jimmy, come on in everybody. Hey, Mary. You look pretty today, and I see you're not wearing your cheerleader outfit this time. Nice parents, by the way, Marty and Sally. Heh <laughs> they're nice. And I didn't know you had a brother. I know who he is. His name is Jimmy. I met him before. Thanks, Caillou. My parents are awesome, and I usually wear my cheerleader clothes at school. Yeah, me and Mary are brother and sister. We hang out like best friends, though. And I like hanging out with you, Caillou, because you and me are best friends, too. I cannot wait until you and Mary both get married because I want you to be my brother-in-law because we hang out all the time. Kids, why don't you guys go up into Kalo's room? Well, here's my room, Mary and Jimmy. See, it looks pretty nice. I mean, it has a computer. I have a bed right there, right next to it. A desk. I have lots of pictures. What do you think of my room, guys? Wow, Caillou. Nice room. I love it. Yeah, I love your new room. I like how it looks. I like how the computer and the bed are right next to each other. I love how the posters are on top of the wall where your bed is standing. And I love it the way it looks. I like all the designs and all that. I wish my bedroom looked like that, too. Uh-oh. It's time for dinner. We better go to the kitchen and have our Thanksgiving dinner. Come on, guys. It's nice to hang out with your family, Caillou. Yeah, Mary, we're having a nice Thanksgiving. I mean, I'm glad we're gathered around. It's a shame my dad wouldn't make it, though. He had work today. Well, it's a shame, though, but at least we're all gathering around and having fun. I mean, we're all eating a great Thanksgiving dinner. And we're having a great time. Right, Mom? Oh, hell yeah. This is the littest Thanksgiving ever. Sad. Boris could not make it, though. That goddamn Kalo. I can't believe this bald bread flushed me down the toilet. Now there's crap all over me. I'm glad your parents likes me. <laughs> we had a great time, didn't we, Mary? Well, I will see you at school. And I hope you have a great Thanksgiving. Bye-bye. Well, it was nice to hang out with you, Caillou. See you at school. Uh, 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 Mom and Dad, uh, let me explain. You see, uh, uh, there, there, there was another guy. His name was George. He looked just like me. He, he said that he didn't like your face. Dad, and so he flushed you down the toilet, and he said he didn't like your face, and uh, he told me that you had work, and that's what made me tell mom that you had work, and uh, and uh, the, the, you already missed the Thanksgiving thing, because Mary and parents came there, and after that they left, and uh, I don't believe any of your crap, Kalo. I know what you did. You are an evil little bald boy. That's it, you are grounded for 20,000 years. Go to your room right now. I am going out to the store, and you are too irresponsible to stay home by yourself. Rosie is at kindergarten, and Sausage is at daycare. So, who should babysit you? So, I'm going to Mr. Hinkle's house, and he's going to babysit me. Okay, Dad, I will be on my best behavior while Mr. Hinkle watches me at his house. Oh, that's what I like to hear. Now... I am going to unground you once I come back and pick you up, if you promise to be on your best behavior.
Why, hello, Boris. Hello, Kalu. What are you guys doing here? Oh, hi, Mr. Old Clown. I am mean, Mr. Hinkle. I am here to drop off Kalo for a little bit while I got to go somewhere, so can you please babysit him? Why, sure. I can babysit with no haired kid for a while. Thanks, bye. Now remember to be good Kalo and if you do you'll be ungrounded. So, uh, I will be right back. I'm just going to clean my bathroom up a bit. Sit and some tea something. Don't know what kid I can do for fun. Man, I hate being watched by Mr. Hinkle. I don't even know what I'm going to do. What am I going to do now? I know. Just as I go to his house, I'm going to call him Mr. Clean because he hates being called Mr. Clean. Ha 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 Well, this big soap is certainly going to do that trick. Ah, uh, what are you doing in here, Kalu? Good morning to you, Mr. Clean. How are you doing today, Mr. Clean? Ah, uh, what stuff are you eating today, Mr. Clean? I got a song for you. Yeah. Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean, everybody loves Mr. Clean. Clean the house, clean the kitchen, clean everything, Mr. Clean. What in the actual hell did you just call me? Ah, oh, hey Mr. Clean, I just burped in your face. Do you love that kind of burp? Can you clean my mouth because I burped in your face, Mr. Clean? Stop calling me Mr. Clean. Here, I'm going to shove this bar of soap in your mouth. How about that? Ah, uh, Mr. Clean. I want a Happy Meal with a Big Mac and a big large Coke and a lot of foods. And can you bring it to me right away and hand deliver it to me, Mr. Clean? Thank you, Mr. Clean. You better shut the hell up. Not give you any back. It's silly. How do you keep me missing constantly burping my tire head of Mac? <laughs> Oh, Mr. Clean, what was it like about when you clean everybody's houses and how much do you pay for, Mr. Clean? Tell, tell me of, of your life, Mr. Clean. I like to hear this. Look it, bull kid. I'm a retired man who used to work as a love doctor. I'm not a freaking janitor, you disgusting fat burping pig. Do you freaking understand now? Uh, uh, Mr. Clean, can you clean this mess I made with all the food? I mean, I mean, if it's no trouble at all, Mr. Clean, I really want you to clean this kitchen for me. It looks awful. I mean, I ate every food on there, so can you clean that for me, Mr. Clean? Thank you, Mr. Clean. Did you seriously eat all my food? And you made freaking ass. I'm up. up. You were that. What you do? Uh, 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 me, toilet up. Can you check um, with the toilet? All right. Look at it right there. It's very clogged up. I don't know what's wrong with it. Okay, that's strange. It shouldn't have been clogged up. How the hell did it get clogged? Okay, just let me see how the hell it's clogged up in the first. Ha 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 Uh, good riddance for old Mr. Clean here. He's gonna have to go clean the sewers now, cause I flushed you down the toilet, Mr. Clean. <laughs> oh crap, it's my dad! I know, I saw what just happened. Let's go home right now.
Uh, uh, Mom and Dad, I can explain. You see, um, there's another guy who looks just like me, and he pushed it, Mr. Hinkle, Mr. Clean, down the toilet, and, um, said that he never liked it, Mr. Hinkle, Mr. Clean, so he just said that, that he didn't like you, and the reason why you was mad at me, because you thought it was me, but it wasn't, and, um, don't worry, Mom, he's fine, he's fine. He said, he said, Mr. Hinkle, Mr. Clean is going to go clean the sewers now, so... Um, before you even said I'm grounded, this is your print, Dad. I hope you like it. That was a nice burp I had to let out. Kilo, you're a nasty liar and we know it. Kilo, how dare you eat the McDonald's food he had for his grandson? And how dare you call him Mr. Clean and burp at him. And, how dare you flush Mr. Hinkle down the toilet. That's it you are grounded for 50,000 years. Go to your room right now. Kalo, you need to watch the house while your mom and I run to the store. I am going to buy ultra juicy and meaty sausages while we're gone. And keep an eye on everything. Yes, Dad. I will keep an eye on the house and Rosie while you and Mom go to the store. Good. If you actually promise to do everything I just told you to do, then we will go to Chuck E. Cheese's after. Okay, now we'll be back. Don't forget to do what I said. Meaty juicy sausages here I come. Come to Boris. Oh, these beautiful emojis. I really wish I had an emoji movie poster in my room. That will complete my checklist for success. Hey Rosie. I am celebrating a party. Do you want to be invited? Oh how yeah boy. I am down for that. I'm down to parties every freaking day my brother that I cannot really tolerate too well, but can actually live with. Okay Rosie, everybody's here, now we can enjoy the party. Hey guys, I found some beer in the refrigerator, they're all on me. Hell yeah, beer is my favorite drink. Go and get some Caillou. This party is so damn lit, I am actually feeling to boogie woogie my hips a little bit. Yo, Kalao. Your party is pretty lit, I am not gonna lie though. Oh, hey, Leo, how are things? And wait a minute, you brought my cousin Rod West Hyder in here? Dear God, what a coincidence, right? Hey, Leo, I got a question. What's the difference between my cousin Rod West Hyder and a YouTuber named Rod West Hyder who makes videos? What's the difference between them two, Leo? The difference is that Rod West Theater the YouTuber makes movies on his channel, and my cousin is a basketball player. They have the same name which is pretty cool honestly. See Caillou, that is a huge difference between me and the YouTuber Rod Westheider. It is a very common name, but we enjoy that name though, it's a pretty good name. Hey Leo, do you, can you direct me where the fruit punch is, please? Yeah, it's over this way. Okay guys, we're gonna have a nice party. And we're going to be dancing all night. One, two, three, four. Let me see. You asked me if you guys want to join this party. Well, of course you guys can. Come on in. Come on in. You guys, you two look so familiar. You guys look like my mom and dad. What a coincidence, right? 
Wait a minute! That is my mom and dad! Oh no! Well, we gotta run, guys! To Come party. on! Oh, me too. Everyone get the hell out of my house, or the cops will be called, and Kalo get in here right now. Uh, uh, m Mom and Dad, uh, me and Rosie both can explain. You see, um, let me think for a second, let me think for a second. Oh, yeah, yeah, m Mr. Hinkle, he, Mr. Clean Mr. Hinkle, yeah, he decided to throw the party. Yeah, he said that we can have all, we can all have beers, and we can have a party, because it's your guys' anniversary. We, we wanted to celebrate your anniversary as an idea, and Mr. Hinkle thought of that idea, because Mr. Hinkle is an old man, he just loves you guys, and, and, um, me and Rosie, we decided to join him, and, um, we thought it was a good idea. Right, Rosie? Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. Both of you are dumb asses. Our anniversary is not until another month from now. And why didn't I see Mr. Hinkle at this party? Oh, probably, because you are both lying to us. But Dad, it was true. Mr. Hinkle did through that party. He he said that he wanted to be Mr. Clean, and um, it was your guys' anniversary. Rosie even agreed with me. See, 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 she didn't even lie. See, um, Mr. Hinkle threw that party. He threw that party. Yeah, he was he was saying that this is your anniversary, and we all had beers because we all had fun. We had super fun, and and. <laughs> Both of you are liars, mostly you Kalo. But Kalo and Rosie how dare you guys throw a party while we were gone, that's it you both are grounded for 15,000 years, go to, your rooms right now. See, Dad, I got dressed all by myself. Well, yeah, no kidding. You're 12 years old. You have been dressing yourself since you were 8, a little too old. But hey, who even gives a crap at the end of the day? I don't want to be late for the circus. Well, Kalo, I hate to tell your bald ass this, but up. Follow me into the bathroom for a second. There is something I need to tell you privately. Well, Kalo, what I wanted to tell you, oh Jesus, I am a bit nervous, but I am pretty sure the circus is not until tomorrow instead. Oh Jesus, don't kill me. No, no, it's today. I got all dressed. It's today. Well, Kalo, let's go downstairs so you can watch me eat my sausage. No. I don't want to! Broom, 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 broom! Silly old car! Silly, 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 silly! Kilo, shut the hell up about the goddamn circus. All of this crying woke up sausage. Caillou, you're a piece of shit. Sausage. Don't say that word. I am going to put a bar of soap in your mouth if you say that one more time. Why can't I go to the circus? I really want to go to the circus. I really want to go to the circus. Well, Kalo, are you now done crying over the damn circus? Your life is all one big circus act anyways, so I don't see why you're complaining. You can just act natural anyways. <laughs> And do you want to make ducky-shaped sausages? No! I don't want to make duckies! Duckies are for babies! Well, Kalo, your entire life is babyish, so I don't understand what the big deal is. Well, fine. 
I'm going to grow super big and I'm going to destroy the world. You think I'm powerful? I'm going to show you. Holy hell. You think I'm so powerful? Well, I'm gonna smash! Hawksess! Hawk will smash you all! I love you! You love me! We're a happy family with a great big hug and a kiss from me to you. Won't you say you love me too? Oh no! It's a big giant call you! Oh no 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 no! <laughs> Nothing can stop me now! Ha 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 ha! Oh, big building! Must destroy! Kalo, you're coming with me now. Mom, Dad, and Rosie, I can explain. You see, it was not me that grow big and destroyed that city. It was Mr. Clean. Yeah, Mr. Clean said that he just wanted to be big so he could destroy the city, and then after that he would clean it up. I mean, he he was cool. I mean, he was like the Incredible Hawk. It was not me, because I was just... Standing here in my room crying because I would I wanted to go to the circus and I won't get to it. I want to go to the circus. I was being good. Mr. Clean destroyed that city. So, Dad, are we going to the circus tomorrow? To be totally honest, Kalo, we're going to the circus, but without you. You nearly destroyed an entire city. Why do you think you deserve to go to the circus after what you did? Don't answer that. I just don't want to hear it. Kalo, how dare you turn big and destroy the city, that is it you are grounded for 50,000 years, go to your room right now. Ladies are like that, Jason. It's a game. They pretend not to notice. Pretending not to notice women. That is a hard thing to do, Jason. And I pretend to not notice them not noticing. Bottom line is, <laughs> nobody walks away from this. Oh, hey, Vicky. How are you? <laughs> you want to know who my friend is? Um, come on, my good friend. Introduce yourself to her. Well, hello. Jason and Kalo. I'm Vicky. I will be babysitting you both today, apparently, which is so awesome. And I'm Jason. I'm the guy you want to talk to. He was just standing in my spot when the miracle occurred. Take me with you. Jason, why do you want me to take you with me? And we have been friends since we were like, what, three years old? You get up me for her? <laughs> you make a decision right now. Choose me or her. See ya. Okay, Jason. See you later. Well, Kalo. It looks like Jason had to catch a taxi. Why couldn't he stay longer? Hey, Vicky. Do you want to hang out with me as friends? Sure. 
Awesome, Vicky. So, what should we do? Should we go to... I don't know. Should we go um, to the zoo? Should we go to the museum? Or should we go to Timmy Turner's house? Well, I want to see your bedroom for a second. Ah! Vicky! Why did you tie me up with ropes? And underneath me is a pool full of piranhas! Because, Kalo, I didn't do this. I paid Jason to do this to you. Since you think I was going to have a chance at dating you, you left a friend of yours just to be with me, weirdo. Jason, you gotta get me out of these ropes and not make me fall into the pool of piranhas. Why? Because we are friends. We've known each other since we were like, what, three years old? Are you gonna listen to Vicky over me? You gotta make a decision, buddy. Choose Vicky or me. Which one is it? See ya! <gasps> ah! The piranhas are eating my flesh! Ah! 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 I'm eating my piranhas! Ah! Ah! This pool is full of blood! Ah! Looks like Kalo's parents are back. Let's get out of here before we get the cops called on. Mom and Dad, I did not tie myself up in ropes by myself, and I did not fall in the pool of piranhas on purpose. Vicky told Jason to throw that at me and make me fall into the pool of piranhas. What? Why do you think that I did that and Jason didn't? Kilo, I'm not grounding you for the piranhas in your room. I'm grounding you for leaving your friend Jason behind to get to Vicky. That's it, you are grounded for 10,000 years. Go to your room right now. Yeah, Rosie, that is part of my plan. When I get my driver's license, I can take my sister anywhere she wants to go. Unless me and Jason has plans. Oh, wait, we do. But here's a lovely parting gift. Rosie's going to have fun in the sewer for a while. When Caillou and his friend Jason got home, after Caillou failed his driver's test, Stop it right there. Jason, the DMV guy waved me forward. I pulled up like two inches. I am so proud to be the best friend of the first guy in history to fail his driver's test before it started. Wait, this boy failed his driving test and yet he's driving a car? Uh, how am I supposed to know that? I'm at the DMV and I assume the guy waving me forward was the DMV. That was not the DMV guy. That was the father of the kid ahead of you. What the hell? Jason, why are you sucking up to my mom? DMV guys are cops. Okay, they don't usually wave you forward with a can of beer. Yeah, he's right about that. Okay, Jason. My mom left. Let's go. We're going to hang out. Even though I don't have a driver's license, we're going to drive to the theaters. Ha 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 ha. What the hell is this kid thinking? They can't go to the theaters when I am right behind them. Bad news. Oh, uh, the uh, cash machine only gave us 200 bucks for tonight's date. <laughs> oh, you, uh, you bought a new dress. Oh, you hope it's not too short. 
Sweetheart, life can be too short. <laughs> hey, shut the hell up, kid. I am a guy. See, Jason? We've been driving 40 miles per hour far away from home, and nothing went wrong. See? <laughs> Everything's gonna be fine. Oh, crap, it's the cops. Yeah, no kidding. I was standing here for minutes waiting for you idiots to finally notice my existence. Too young to be a mom, too pretty to be in real estate. Watch it, kid. I am going to tow your vehicle to Mike. He will tow your vehicle for driving underage, fellow bald one. Hello, Mike. You're the guy who runs this towing company. Here's the $50 that I got from... For my dad's car. Can you get that for me? It's my dad's car. Hey, have you seen my mom? I'm going to crush this car. <laughs> no, 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 you crushed the car. Ah, oh, you crushed it, my dad's car. <laughs> my dad's going to slit my throat. No, oh man. <sighs> Now, um, excuse me, mister, sir, I, I still don't understand why you can't give us the car. I mean, <laughs> we have the money. Because you forgot to read the sign on the front entrance. Where's $100 to get the car, not $50? So, the car has been crushed. Well, your dad is coming down here right about now to claim his car, since we gave him a phone call about it about 10 minutes ago. Oh, you don't believe me. Here he's right now. Dear God! What the hell happened to my car? Oh no, Dad. This is not what it looks like. Huh? You, you, you thought I'm the dumbest idiot, but Jason, he'll say I'm smart. Jason, Jason, tell him I'm not stupid. Please tell him I'm not an idiot. I, uh, beg to differ. You get a $100 for saying I beg to differ. Jason, you're pretty smart a lot. I can't believe you, Dad. You just paid Jason $100 just for saying I uh, beg to differ. Jason, you cannot leave me holding the bag for all this. <laughs> See how little you know me. Kilo, Rosie was in the sewers earlier today. Do you know why? Why is Rosie covered in poop? Because your bald ass threw her down there from the toilet. That's why, Kalo, how dare you throw Rosie down the toilet? That's it, you are grounded for 15,000 years. Go to your room right now. Don't even get me started about my car. What? Happy 21st birthday to Jack Griffo. I hope you enjoy your birthday. But even though it was yesterday, but still, happy birthday, Jack Griffo. Hey, Mary. How's it going today? Ow, ow, she smacked me in the face. Don't talk to me, you bald-headed monster! So, how's it going with Molly? <laughs> well, Jason, first, her name ain't Molly, it's Mary. And second, there is no talking between us. I don't even know what the hell is going on. Oh well, oh well, never mind. But anyways, if there is another woman, you better talk me not to date that girl because I'm not going to date anymore. Well, hello, pretty lady. Can you tell me what's your name? I'm Vicky. I babysit little twerps like Timmy Turner, so don't ever talk to that goddamn kid. He's such an arrogant little brunette-looking peanut. Vicky the Babysitter? Beautiful name. Hey, Vicky, can we be boyfriend and girlfriend? Well, yeah. As long as you hate Timmy Turner as much as I do. Uh, back misery, back misery, back misery. 
bag of misery. Oh, you're right, Jason. Um, Eki, I'm sorry, but, um, we can't be boyfriend and girlfriend, as I made a deal with Jason. Okay, whatever. Jason, Vicky is not a misery bag. She is a senior. And plus, she is paying me $50 just to be her boyfriend. Misery bag. <clears throat> old misery bag. <laughs> you call Vicky an old misery bag? You're right, Jason. You're right, Jason. I'm sorry. Are you doing anything right now? Good, because you might want your homework back just as I ask your homework all the way to the principal's office. Ugh! Cheek. Kalo, can you drive me around the block for 40 minutes? Because I have no one to drive me. And you're the only bald-headed boy I know that is willing to do it for me. Yes, Vicky. I will drive you around the block for 40 minutes and keep the heater on to keep you nice and toasty, pudding. Is that why you're getting neutered? Okay, thanks, Kalo. Hey, Leo, what are you mad for? You ain't calling my parents, are you? Well, maybe you can get a two-for-one deal. <laughs> or am I too late? Yeah, you're too late, Chin. You aren't hot enough for me. that when I get a girlfriend, she respects me the exact same way she respects you, and, and if I do, <clears throat> I want to drive all around the block 40 minutes to heat it gets nice and toasty, <laughs> and I want you to run me over. <laughs> Maybe I would someday. Yes, Kayla, I am calling your parents. You clearly should not be out in front of the school without your parents knowing. You know that by now, Kayla. Hello, Kayla's parents. So Kayla is just talking to random people in front of his school. Can you please pick him up? Thanks. Bye. Kayla, let's go home right now. Uh, uh, Dad, it wasn't. It wasn't me that. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't me that <laughs> it wasn't me that made Jason leave me because I was hanging out with Vicky. Uh there was a guy, his name was Mr. Clean, and uh he was the one who pretended to be me because M Mr. Clean, he 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 was the one that um said um that he wanted to be n no friend with Jason because of course we know that um, um, Vicky was hanging out with Mr. Clean instead of me. <laughs> yeah, that's what happened. Yeah. Look, Kalo. You are such a damn liar every time I go to ground you. You make up some crappy excuse every time. I don't know if it's your stupidity talking or what. Believe my lies! So, Dad, I got a question. Am I a good dog or a bad dog? You are an extremely bad dog. How dare you talk to random strangers in front of your school? That's it, you are grounded for 15,000 years. Go to your room right now. Hey, Jason. Shooting hoops just like that, are you? Actually, Jason, I can't make it to the game because something just came up. Oh, let me guess. And I'm just pulling this out of the air here. A certain senior girl named, uh, Vampira? <laughs> what the hell? Jason, her name is not Vampira, it's Bella. She is a football player. Her team is called the Bulldogs. 
Oh, that's her day name. <laughs> yeah, Jason, that is her day name. But you want to know what your day name is? Getting on my nerves. That's your day name. Right. My condolences on the loss of your son. <laughs> Is that your pager? Uh, no, Jason. That is not my pager. Yeah, it's my, um, it's my, uh, my pacemaker. In fact, I'm having a heart attack right now. See, she has uh, just pulled into the driveway, and she would like a glass of water. Wait a minute, Jason. She's in the driveway right now, and she needs water. Uh, get out of my way. I gotta get some water. Hang on, Bella. I'm coming. I'll get you some water. They didn't tell you? Seems as though Eric was taking a bath when the pager went off. Wasn't pretty. They're zipping the bag up now. <laughs> As a matter of fact, you should get out of here before the cops start asking questions, so... What the hell? Jason, don't lie to Bella. That did not happen to me. You better shut your mouth, Jason, before I smack it. Come, play hoops. I'm throwing you a lifeline here, boy. Take it! Yeah, Bella, me and Jason are pretty good at basketball just like you're good at football. Wow, I seriously wish you were good at football too. Then you could be on the boys' team. Are, are you gonna let her talk to me like that? <laughs> Fine. Later. <laughs> Are you going to let her talk to me like that? <laughs> yeah, Jason. I'm going to let Bella talk to you like that. Fine. Later. <laughs> Look, Jason, I'm real sorry about this. I am not Elfin. <laughs> I am a human being. <laughs> Kayo, do you want to hang out at Starbucks on Thursday? Hey, Bella, but me and Jason's got a basketball game Thursday. Can this wait another day? Sure, I guess. Ah, <sighs> So, Jason, how did the basketball game go? Great, great. For the other guys. Look, Jason, I'm sorry. I will see you Thursday. You and me's got a basketball game. Oh, no, no, it was a good experience for me. I actually got to play center. Lucky for me, the center on the other team was my size. When he was five. <laughs> but I really want you to hang out with me desperately, though. You're bald. You seriously have lots to do? No, Bella. Excuse me. You got everything you want in this relationship. What was I going to get? But I just wish you spent more time with me than Jason. Tell me, okay, next game, are you in, or do we find a permanent replacement? You... are an idiot? Yeah, Jason. I am an idiot. Hey, Miss Martin. Why are you mad? You're not calling my parents for what I did, are you? Believe it or not, Kalo. I'm going to call your parents. Why do you keep asking this every time? I shouldn't play. I'm, I've been holding you guys back. I'm just too petite. <laughs> but you're a good basketball player, though, Jason. Hello, Kalo's parents. So, Kalo was yet again cutting class for no reason just to talk to his friends. Can you please pick him up? Thanks, bye. Kilo, let's go home right now. Uh, uh, Dad, I, I, I can explain. Uh, you see...
You got Leo pregnant. What the? You dumbass. Boys can't get pregnant. You're ridiculous, Kalo. Kalo, how dare you cut class just to talk to your friends? That's it, you are grounded for 10,000 years. Go to your room right now. Three weeks later, during school. Your fly is undone, honey. What was what? Jason, this is the best day of my life. I have no Bella in my life, and I can play basketball with my friend whatever I want, and why are you dressed differently? What was that noise? That was my pacemaker. In fact, I'm, I'm having a heart attack right now. I'm sorry. It was all his fault. It's the pager. Yes. What? I'm only in it for the breakup kiss. Books for our summer trip? No, not yet, Kalo. You're going to take that test today in school. But, Dad, that's why I'm not doing well, because I don't have any hands-on European experience, you know? So, I only need B averages. Okay, that's not a problem. So, what do I need for that, like Bs? Kalo. Your grades today better look like TPs. You got it? Meanwhile, at school... You know, where would you put the five dollars? <laughs> In your ass. Good morning, class. Today we're having a test. Excuse me, Miss Martin. Could we just talk to you for a second? About what? I, Jason and I were thinking, we're both C-plus students. Yes, I know. I want you to improve you guys' damn grade. Uh-huh. All right. What about on the next test or two, if you give us, say, uh, Bs? Maybe if you actually studied Kalo, then you would actually get an A. That's why we're going to Europe to get our hands on something. <laughs> You are not going to Europe, you have school to do, and your grade is at a C plus you better raise it, and I am also talking to you too, Kalo. You mean like a tutor? Fine, then you are not getting a tutor. What the hell? Jason, why did you say yes about a tutor? Because I want to go to Europe. A tutor? You know what that is? It's a four-eyed, greasy hair, zip face, life support system for a book. <laughs> you know, there's no reason why this relationship has to be purely business. Wow, this tutor is pretty. I didn't even know she was a lady. If I knew anything, would I need a tutor? Yes, Mr. Story. <laughs> now do your tests, Kalo and Mr. Marsden. <sighs> well, here we are, Jason, at lunch. Thank God we made it to the cafeteria. <laughs> uh, that tutor didn't work for me, so... Jason, I gotta come clean to you, man. But, the tutor thing did not work, so instead, I cheated. Gee, that was the end of a very good story. Perhaps you'd like to tell me the rest? 
Okay, Jason, I'll tell you the rest of the story. Okay, the tutor thing did not work out, so I just cheated by writing the answers on my hand. Stupid, 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 stupid. Here comes Miss Martin with our papers. Did I just hear what I thought I heard? Miss Martin, I don't deserve that A because I wrote the answers on my hand and I cheated on the test. I knew it. I thought I heard something normal coming from you. Well, I'm gonna call your parents. Hello, Kalo's parents. So Kalo cheated on today's test by writing the answers on his hand. Can you please pick him up? Thanks. Bye. Kalo, let's go home right now. You think I cheated on the test? I can explain, Dad. You see... Really, Kalo, do you think I'll believe your nonsense? You just spoke gibberish to me. Okay, Dad, I'll explain again, you see? Kilo, how dare you cheat on the test and give me ridiculous excuses? That's it, you are grounded for 10,000 years. Go to your room right now and you aren't going to Europe. Baby Geeks Discovering the Female of the Species I say we tag them and return next spring. <laughs> Jason, the Geeks attempt to protect themselves by puffing up. You better shut the hell up, Kalu. Unlike you, we actually have hair. Uh, wabbit season. <laughs> Hello, little kids. <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> we only hunt when we need to hunt. You know, it's amazing you two haven't seen each other there already. Uh, hi. You probably don't know me. I may have seen you around before, bold specimen. But is your name Kalu? Great guess. Guess what I'm going to ask you next. What is it? And guess what you're going to say? Yes. For free time. And since you skate, you skate, you both skate, uh, you could meet each other there. Right, Blades? <laughs> oh, all your free time? Do you always ice skate? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm always there, real early in the morning, you know, right when they're rolling out the ice. Not your head, yes. So, how's Friday? What do you say, Jason? How's Friday? Come on, Canadian skate, how hard could it be? <laughs> Max, I'll come up with something, don't I always? Yes. <laughs> I'd say pretty slim. <laughs> Jason, I don't skate at all. Jason, you were the one who told Carrie I know how to skate, so you've got to help me out with this. Well, then I'm due. <laughs> Hello? 
lot of this is just presentation. And you gotta look comfortable, but you still gotta be able to flex. No. Jason, I am not wearing spandex. No way. You hold in your hand a subliminal learn to skate in your sleeve tape. Jason, what's this? I dubbed over my mom's weight loss tape, but it should still work. I mean, well, it worked for her. But Jason, I don't want to skate in my sleep. But Jason, I don't want to skate in my sleep. Thank you, Jason. Jason, this is stupid. It's never going to work. I'm just going to tell her that I can't skate, and if I lose the date, so what? So, Jason, I play it while I sleep? ...success when you are in control. You can... Ice skate. That's right. You can absolutely, positively... Ice skate. Food has no power over you. Sure, you've tried other diets, but now you'll finally... Skate real good. Now picture a beautiful, thin... Ice skater. ...reaching out to you, encouraging you, showing you how to... Ice skate. Yes! Jason's mixtape works! Now I could go to the Olympics and ice skate with Carrie. Meanwhile, at the Olympics... Welcome to the Olympics, and this event is ice skating introducing Kalo and Carrie. And your winners are Kalo and Carrie. Your gold medal will both be mailed to you guys. Wow, Carrie, that was fun to ice skate, and we won first place. That is super cool. I know, right? I had so much fun ice skating with you, Kalo. Hey, Andre, why are you so mad? Wait a minute, you're not calling my parents about me going to ice skating with Carrie, are you? Yes, I am. It is worth it actually to tattle on you without me wearing ice skates. Hello, is this Kalu's parents? So, Kalu roasted me today in school and he also went ice skating with Carrie. Can you please pick him up? Thanks, bye. Kalu, let's go home right now. Uh, uh, Dad, I can explain. You see, I was just hanging out with this lady named Carrie, but she didn't want to hang out with me because she had to ice skate. But then after that, Jason said that I know how to ice skate. And, uh, and then after that, after she left, I told Jason I don't know how to skate. And then all of a sudden, Jason gave me a mixtape that says I, how to ice skate. And um, after that, I played the tape in my sleep. And then after that, I learned how to ice skate, and all of a sudden, we won first place. Not your crappy excuses again. You bald-headed egg-looking mini Dwayne Johnson clone. Kalo, how dare you roast Andre and I skate with Carrie. That's it you are grounded for. 20,000 years go to your room right now.